You public schools in Glynn County are also moving to distance learning Monday with cases surging in southeast Georgia. Hospitals are so overwhelmed, the National Guard has been called in to help doctors and nurses across the state, including in Brunswick. News Sir Jux reporter Marilyn Parker has been speaking with parents and doctors. Marilyn, they're telling you they believe this could have been prevented. Yes, that's what some doctors and parents I spoke with say. That's how they feel. And right now, the Southeast Georgia Hospital uh, Health System, they are incredibly short-staffed. And with them going back to virtual learning, some of their employees are going to have to stay home with their kids. A few parents I spoke with say they wanted to be in virtual learning at the beginning of the school year because of fear from the virus. Reaching record highs. COVID-19 is having a ripple effect across Glen County. The hospital is short-staffed and schools are moving to distance learning after a surge in cases. Southeast Georgia Health System Chief Medical Officer Alan Brown says it may impact his staff as well and there was a chance to slow the spread. Maybe a temporary use of masking would have been of benefit um, and unfortunately two weeks after we decided not to do that, uh, we're back to virtual schools. Isabel Cortez is a parent with children in Glen County. She says she wanted students to be in virtual school from the start of the year because she was scared to send them in person. A lot of the students, they just, they caught COVID and um, mine are home now. And unfortunately, um, a lot of my kids' friends, they caught COVID as well. Another parent we spoke with anonymously says she'll keep her kids in virtual school for as long as it takes. I know my school in particular has so many kids out and my two were actually two of the ones from school that got it. So um, I fully support um, virtual school for a little while. The Southeast Georgia Health System has four pediatric beds and Brown says they've had their share of pediatric hospitalizations. While children still seem to have better outcomes than everyone else, they're not all having outcomes like they did with the first variant, and that's very tragic and very unfortunate. He says for the hospital, the school, and the entire community's sake, it's best for everyone to get vaccinated. The National Guard is helping the health system out with their surge of cases. They're going to be here for the next few months. And Glen County School says they're going to return to in-person learning based on the data that schools collect and that they give to them no later than September 10th. We're live in Brunswick tonight. Marilyn Parker, Channel 4, The Local Station.